Determining your YouTube background size. Hi, Taylor here with Financial Potion, where video is your financial potion. And to never miss out on a video, please make sure you're subscribed to our channel and then click on that bell so you're notified every Friday at 5 p.m. Arizona time that a new video has been uploaded. And for one-to-one -one training or just to support our content, please click above and connect with us on our Patreon page. Whenever you're setting up a YouTube channel, you absolutely need to have a YouTube background. If you're a business owner, this is real estate in order to promote your business and have a call to action for people to reach out to you. However, what should that background really be designed like and what should the size be? Whenever you're uploading your background image to YouTube, you're going to see it's going to give you this diagram and it's going to show you what is being seen on a mobile phone versus what's being seen on a desktop versus what's being seen on a TV. Because remember, 60% of the people on YouTube are on their mobile phones and then about 30% of the people are using desktops and 10% using smart TVs. These numbers will vary a little bit on who is your demographic. However, for the most part, those are the averages. And so when you're setting up your background image, you need to make sure that your most important content does fit in that small box that shows for mobile and also the desktop. Yes, you do want it to look pretty when it's on a TV. However, that's not going to be the most important graphic, the areas outside of the mobile and the desktop. And so make sure anything that you want people to see is in the smack dab middle of your graphic. You can go to places like canva.com, C-A-N-V-A.com, and then you can search YouTube background. That's then going to give you some templates that you can work from. However, keep in mind those templates don't always cater just in the mobile view. So make sure that you customize that background so you are optimizing for those mobile views. So once again, when you're thinking about your YouTube backgrounds, think about the three different devices and really keep in mind what's gonna be seen in that mobile device. If you have more questions about this topic, please leave them in the comment section and I hope you have a beautiful looking YouTube background. Mm -hmm.